Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to make this environment under five minutes. That's right. It's going to be really simple. This video is going to serve as an introductory video to NVIDIA Omniverse. Before I start with the video, I would like to give a huge shout out to all the people who support the channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. If you guys want to support my channel, I'm going to leave a link down in the description. Okay, so first we'll need to download Omniverse. Omniverse is totally free. After downloading and installing the launcher, go to the exchange panel and download the USG Composer. So get this, it's totally free again. I'm going to launch the USG Composer. So this is the interface. Right here we have the viewport panel. Down we have the assets panel. In the right hand side, we have the world outliner and below that we have the properties panel. So that's like the inspector. So let's learn the navigation first, right? So if you have used Unreal Engine 5, the navigation is similar. If you go down in the assets panel, you can see that you have a variety of different assets to download for free. You can also access all the Sketchfab assets right inside Omniverse. Now let's start by creating our environment. So we are going to replace this default sky, right? So select the sky object and delete it. After that, go to the environments panel, select any one of these environments and drag it in the level. If you want to rotate the sky environment, you can always use the rotation transformations in the inspector or the properties panel. After that's done, let's add a camera. To add a camera object, go right here and create a camera from this view. That's going to create a camera from the view. So you can see now the camera is active. The camera has a lot of different settings. We are going to take a look at these settings later on in this video. Okay, now let's start by going in the asset store. And here I've downloaded these assets. These are free Sketchfab assets and these are 3D scans. So I'm going to drag and drop this in my level and my scene. And you can use the transformation tools. Those are the rotation, the position and the scale tools to place this asset. I'm also going to add this rock asset in my level and start creating my environment. Again, you don't need to follow what I am doing. Feel free to experiment with different assets and different asset placements. Now let's expand the camera right there and that will give you access to the camera properties. So here you can change all the different camera properties right from the focal length, the focus distance, the aperture and the ISO. So we are going to change the aperture, the f-stop to 1.2 and you can change the focus distance. Again, I need a subtle bokeh effect. The ISO is basically the exposure. The default values are totally fine in this case. Again, the 24 millimeter lens is pretty good for a landscape shot. Now let's take a look at how to render things inside Nvidia Omniverse. Okay, so the USG Composer has three different renderers. So basically we have the real time RDX renderer. That's like a real time renderer. So basically it's like how a game engine renders things in real time. Next we have the RDX interactive path tracing. 
So that has interactive path tracing. And lastly, we have RDX Accurate. So that is IRA, which is a totally offline renderer. So you can switch between these and see how it affects your render in the viewport. So for this environment, we are going to use the RDX Accurate renderer and that's going to give you the maximum quality. In the right hand side, you have the render settings. So the renderer is IRA. If you go down, you can see that you have a lot of different settings right here. So we don't need to change all of these settings. The default settings are totally fine. Under the common settings, I'm just going to turn on volumetric effects. And this is the volumetric fog. And reduce the density multiplier right here. So I just need a subtle fog in the environment. Okay, so now let's go to the post processing tab and this is a really fun process. So you have a lot of different post processing effects here, right from color correction to color grading, vignettes and all kind of different things. So feel free to play with the post processing effects. So for this environment, I'm going to color grade this to make it look like a cinematic environment, right? I don't want a lot of colors. I just need a muted cinematic look. So you can use the color correction panel for that. And I'm going to also add some vignette in my environment. So just enable that and you're going to find an option for vignette. Again, feel free to experiment with different post processing options and post processing settings. Okay, so this environment looks good. So we have like created our environment. We have set up the render settings and we have also done some post processing, right? So it's time to render this environment. I'm not going to show you how to render a animation. We are going to take a look at that in the next video. But in this video, I'm going to keep things really simple. So what we are going to do is we are going to render out a still image. So for that, we are going to bring up the movie capture panel. So here we have all the render settings under the camera. Make sure that your camera is selected. Down here, you have the resolution and the aspect ratio. So you can change this if you want. Under the render preset, make sure that it's set to current. Under the output settings, the path is where uh, your image is going to be stored. You can change the name of your file and the file format as well. So I'm going to use PNGs for now. And in order to render this image, you can press the capture current frame button. And that's going to take a few minutes. And after that, you will have your render complete. So it's pretty cool. I mean, what you can do with Omniverse. I'm also exploring this, so it's pretty amazing. Again, I wanted to keep this video simple for beginners to get started with NVIDIA Omniverse. More advanced videos are going to come in the future. So I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Check out my Unreal Engine 5 course. Links are down in the description. That's it. I'm going to see you guys in the next video.